I still enjoy taking pictures of myself and then looking at them and marveling at how mystified I feel that that's me. In dissociative states of consciousness, my sense of being a real person or my sense of internal connection with my external self and my internal sensations with my external surroundings is reduced if not completely obliterated. And I am still exploring the science of all of this. Um, but in the meantime, you know, it's finding ways to cope with it and showing up in self-love even when that's very much not the automatic internal sensation because experience feels scary and it feels limiting and it feels confusing and there's just a lot of sensations but we're not defined by the sensations we're not defined by our experiences we are defined if anything by our response and when we can respond in love when we can choose to embrace who we are regardless of how we feel or what specifics are happening around us or within us we have power even through the darkness we have power even when there's no control and even when the mind is is playing tricks on us um, because it it is responding from a traumatic stress survival state unconsciously we have still have power in our response and we don't have to automatically change or control what's happening but when we choose to show up in our power we have a chance to change the way things go in the unfolding days for example the seeds I planted in my response a year ago are blossoming now in my experience and the seeds I'm planting now, I pray will blossom in a year from now. And so change is not immediate, but it is the only constant and transformation is always possible. And so even when I'm not really sure who I am from the inside out of my own consciousness, I can choose to respond in love because love is a very abstract energy that we can tap into regardless of other specifics. And it's taken me a long time to learn that but it's truer every day. Um, like even when things were much, much more intense in my life, self-love carried us through. And the amnesia was so bad, I don't really remember those times. I reflect on videos I recorded then and you know, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I had love during that time. Like all I remember was the dramatic stress element. But we're more than our experience. And when we can realize that, we can rise into our power more than we have. Because the brain will automatically identify our sense of self with our experience. That's just the way the neurobiology unfolds. And we don't have to agree with it. If my brain tells me I'm not worth anything because my brain can't remember who I am, I don't have to agree with those thought forms. I don't have to say, oh my goodness, I really am nothing. Because when I do that, I'm giving my power away. And so even when I feel powerless, I can know that there's power in my response even though I don't immediately feel the result of using that power. Um, yeah, just some healing journey reflections. Um, we're headed to chiropractic treatment and I'm really grateful for the way things are unfolding. Um, he learned a new technique to adjust bones in my face and skull. And there's 22 bone, bones in the skull and they're all supposed to move when we breathe. But some of my upper bones are stuck open and some of my lower bones in my skull are stuck shut. So they're not moving right. And um, it can actually really mess with the way that the brain operates. So we're going to start a four-day treatment today. And it's going to be awesome. And I'm really grateful for the opportunity. Even though I really don't know who I am right now. My short-term and my long-term memory access both feel very restricted due to the dissociative state that I am experiencing. And I know there's a scientific explanation to it, and I know we're onto something with figuring that out. We're sharing our, our process on Patreon if you want to take a peek, uh, and eventually we'll share it to the public when we have more of a, a solid uh, explanation of all the specifics, and we've written articles to divulge those, um, but that's a bit down the road. So, in the meantime, 
we have headband ears on so that we can feel less afraid of ourselves because, you know, I'm not a person. I don't feel like a person. And the ears remind me, it's okay. <laughs> it's all allowed. I'm still allowed to be who I am even when I don't know who I am. And I'm still allowed to show up for who I am even though I don't really feel like I actually exist. Um, and when things feel unfamiliar, I can glance in the little groovy mirror and realize that I don't need things to be familiar to love myself. I don't need the innate automatic knowings in order to extend love to my inner being through unfolding life experience. And I'm allowed to play with things. I'm allowed to play with my perspective of things. And I'm allowed to let go of who I think I am and just pretend I'm some cool kitty cat for a time being. So, embracing the everyday healing journey of life and we're just gonna keep going, you know? Like, this, this life we are living is a storybook. And it's being written one page, one chapter, one moment, one breath at a time. And we don't know how it's gonna end. Our mind might create supposings of where things will be leading in coming months, years, whatnot. But the truth is we don't know what's gonna happen. And we can take some hope in that because maybe the things that our brain is telling us are inevitable aren't. Maybe the things that our brain is afraid of can actually be kind of exciting. Maybe the things that our brain is, you know, making these solid black and white conclusions about can actually have more perspectives than we're seeing right now. Um, and so as scary as the unknown can be, it can offer a lot of hope because if what is being known isn't everything we desire, you know, if there's anxiety, depression, dissociation, traumatic stress, if, you know, if the internal and external specifics of our life aren't all that we hoped life would be, it gives us space to hope and dream and who knows what kind of magic we can plant when we dare to hope and dream and maybe life doesn't have to be perfect and maybe we don't have to be perfect and maybe we really get to 